Hey, how's it going? My name's Eric, and welcome to my course. Thanks for signing up. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Now, I've been interested in this topic for quite a long time. I'm just an ordinary guy, nothing too special, but I have had problems with being too skinny for most of my life. Now, if you're here taking this course, you might be able to relate to some of this. I was very unhealthy, I had no confidence, I wasn't active, I kind of just played video games all the time, and I had very, very, very little muscle mass. Now at six foot, as a grown adult, I was about 130 pounds, which is pretty light for a guy. Well, eventually in time, I became interested in health and fitness, and I set out to crack the code on how I could possibly gain some muscle mass. It took me a long time, but I figured it out, and now I feel like I'm ready to teach you guys everything I've learned. There's a lot of bad information out there. I fell for a lot of it. A lot of people like to throw around facts such as ectomorphs just need to eat more junk food, ectomorphs won't gain fat, so we need to eat more junk food, and that's how we're going to gain weight, how we're going to get the right amount of calories. Well, I tried all this. I felt good when I would eat a big pizza. I felt like I got a lot of calories in. I thought, okay, this is perfect. I'm going to gain some weight. Well, this doesn't all necessarily work. And what I realized in time was the people giving this sort of advice weren't even ectomorphs themselves. So they didn't really know what they were talking about. Well, I'm an ectomorph, and I'm here to show you what I think is the best way to gain healthy weight. So what are you going to learn in this course? Well, first of all, let's imagine a person with bad genetics who has struggled with being overweight for their entire life. Now in order for them to lose weight, they're going to have to really learn about their body and how the process of fat loss works compared to the average person who can lose weight pretty easily. Now in our case, we have a very hard time gaining any kind of muscle. Our bodies just want to stay skinny and in order to put on some weight, we really need to understand what it is to be an ectomorph and the process of muscle building. So to start, I'm going to teach you about nutrition. Nutrition is extremely important in gaining muscle as an ectomorph. I'm going to teach you the basics of nutritional science, how to eat as an ectomorph, and even some tips on cooking, spending, and overall healthy living. Next, I'm going to teach you about fitness. Now this course is designed for anyone of any skill level, so maybe you have experience, maybe you have a gym membership, a home gym, or maybe you're a total beginner with no money whatsoever to put towards your fitness. This course will work for all of you. I'm going to teach you how to create a personalized fitness plan based on your experience, your strength level, your equipment, whatever is available to you. Then I'm going to teach you how to perform all of the essential exercises properly and how to live a healthy, active lifestyle overall. Now you're probably wondering how much weight you might gain in this course. Well, it'll vary from person to person. Everyone's body is different. Everyone has weak points and strong points. For example, I've always had pretty round shoulders, pretty round biceps, but I'm not going to tell you that if you take this course, you're gonna have the exact same outcome. This is just my genetics. Uh, you might have big chest, big legs, whatever. But for most people, when starting a muscle building program as a total beginner, you can expect to gain plenty of weight very quickly. In the fitness industry, this is commonly referred to as newbie gains. Although in time, as you progress to a more intermediate level, you will gain weight a lot slower. This is normal. And also if you have recently lost muscle mass, maybe you stopped going to the gym or you stopped eating well, you will gain that muscle back very quickly because of something called muscle memory. Now me, I've gained at least 25 pounds so far and I'm now sort of at my natural athletic weight. I don't care if it goes up as long as it just doesn't go down. It's sort of stable now. And this will happen to you too. You'll sort of hit a point where you're comfortable in your body. It's a very good thing to be comfortable in your body and where you're at. But a big note, I wouldn't recommend stressing out about your weight on the scale. Your weight fluctuates constantly based on a million factors that have nothing to do with muscle or fat. Therefore, I would weigh yourself once in a while just to get a basic idea, but focus more on how you feel, how your training is going, how strong you feel, and how you look and feel in the mirror. 